It was a social media saga that gripped us all. Fellow wags and former friends embroiled in a bitter row when Colleen Rooney, wife of Wayne Rooney, accused Rebecca Vardy, wife of Jamie Vardy, of leaking stories to the sun. In a public post last October, she said she'd spent a long time trying to figure out who it could be. And for some reason, she had a suspicion. Then came the dramatic accusation. Rebecca Vardy's account, she claimed, was behind the leaks. And stories like this one appearing in the papers. She posted it to 2 million followers. She posted it on Instagram and Twitter. On Twitter, she has 1.2 million followers. Instagram, around 800,000. So, of course, it just went nuclear. Uh, and, and, and it snowballed and snowballed and snowballed and it gets, these things get picked up very quickly by websites and then it just became this absolutely massive story that here we are still more than a year later talking about. At the time, it was dubbed a wag war, a Wagatha Christie mystery. But today, documents given to court showed the extent of the abuse Rebecca Vardy had faced online since. One message sent to her on Instagram read, You fat, ugly rat. I hope you and your baby rot and die an extremely painful death. Another said, Your baby deserves to be put in an incinerator. The hearing today was all about how Colleen Rooney's tweet could have been interpreted. Rebecca Vardy's lawyers argue the Post didn't use the language of suspicion, but that of truth. The court heard how four people, including Rebecca Vardy, had access to her Instagram account, her husband, Jamie Vardy, his social media manager and her agent. And Colleen Rooney's lawyers say that she'd never said Rebecca Vardy was unequivocally responsible. Instead, she said it was Rebecca Vardy's account. A hundred miles away, Rebecca Vardy was pictured getting ready for Dancing on Ice in Nottingham today. She's always denied leaking stories to the sun. Tomorrow, a judge will decide what both sides have to prove if this goes to trial. Ali Fortescue, Sky News.